Welcome to this video tutorial on the top five pharmacology mnemonics. Pharmacology can be difficult for the new nurse and even for the seasoned nurse. Hopefully these pharmacology mnemonics will help you simplify some difficult concepts. The first one is on general medication administration and while not necessarily a mnemonic, it provides a way to remember the six rights of drug administration. Right patient, right medication, right dose, right route, right time, and right documentation. Use two identifiers to verify the right patient. Check or scan the ID band for their name and medical record number. For the right medication, verify that the drug name and the form of medication matches the doctor's order. For the right dose, verify the order and confirm the correct dosage calculation. For the right route, check the order and confirm if it is oral, IV, sub-Q, IM, etc. For the right time, check the frequency and confirm the last time given. And for the right documentation, document administration after giving the medication. Chart the time, route, and other specifics, such as the injection site, lab value, or vital sign related to the drug. Nurses are involved in the administration of medication in many different settings. It is important to prevent medication errors by knowing the six rights of drug administration. Our next mnemonic involves emergency drugs to lean on. These are drugs that prevent a patient from deteriorating to an arrest situation. Lidocaine, epinephrine, atropine, and Narcan. Lidocaine is an antiarrhythmic and also a topical or local anesthetic. It decreases the depolarization and excitability of ventricles during diastole. It is used for ventricular arrhythmias. Epinephrine is an adrenergic agonist and a catecholamine. It increases the heart rate, causes vasoconstriction, and is a bronchodilator. It is used for anaphylactic reactions, bronchial asthma, and hypersensitivity reactions. Atropine is an anticholinergic and antiarrhythmic. It increases the cardiac rate, decreases respiratory secretions, treats sinus bradycardia, and reverses the effects of anticholinesterase medication. Narcan is a narcotic antagonist. It blocks narcotic effects and is used to counteract opioid-induced respiratory depression or toxicity. Our third mnemonic involves drugs that are used to treat a slow heart rate and low blood pressure. This man could use an idea for his slow heart rate and low blood pressure. Isoproteranol, dopamine, epinephrine, and atropine. Isoproteranol relaxes blood vessels and helps the heart pump blood more efficiently to resolve low blood pressure. Dopamine increases the pumping strength of the heart to resolve low blood pressure. Epinephrine constricts peripheral blood vessels, which shunts blood to the central circulation and increases blood flow to the heart and brain. Atropine is an anticholinergic drug that blocks parasympathetic vagal stimulation. It is the drug of choice to treat symptomatic sinus bradycardia. Our fourth mnemonic is for the treatments of atrial arrhythmias. An arrhythmia is a change in the heart's normal rate or rhythm, an atrial arrhythmia occurring in either the left or right atrium. They can range from being annoying but not dangerous to those that produce significant cardiac symptoms or loss of consciousness. A variety of medicines are available to restore normal heart rhythm. Anticoagulants are given to prevent embolization. Beta blockers are given to block the effects of certain hormones on the heart to slow the heart rate. Calcium channel blockers slow the heart rate, decrease the contractility of the heart, and cause smooth muscle relaxation. Digoxin slows the heart rate by blocking the number of electrical impulses that pass through the AV node into the ventricles. In electrocardioversion, electric currents are used to reset the heart's rhythm back to a regular pattern. Our last mnemonic is for the treatments of ventricle arrhythmias. Ventricular arrhythmias are abnormal rapid heart rhythms originating in the ventricles of the heart. Ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation are both life-threatening and commonly associated with heart attacks. 
To prevent the arrhythmia from recurring, antiarrhythmic medications are given. Procainamide decreases myocardial excitability and depresses myocardial contractility. Amiodarone slows electrical conduction, the electrical impulse from sinoatrial node, and conduction through accessory pathways. Lidocaine is given IV in ACLS as an alternative to the other antiarrhythmic drugs. Sodalol is a beta blocker that reduces cardiac output and blood pressure, depresses sinus heart rate, and prolongs the refractory period in the atria and ventricles. Thank you for watching this video tutorial on the top five pharmacology mnemonics, and be sure to check out our videos in the description below.